to Essam Yassin Mohammed. He is the head of Blue Economy at the International Institute for Environment and Development. Essam, thank you so much indeed for your time. Was planet Earth prepared for the Industrial Revolution? Is that why it's fighting back against humanity? Well, I think you, you're absolutely right. I guess what the finding of the IPCC report shows is that, you know, the impact are quite alarming and to be frankly honest with you quite frightening and what we've learned is the rate of increase in the impacts of climate change and it's obviously as you rightly said is down to the impacts i mean the the anthropogenic or the human effect so where do we go from here because we are reporting on this as a uh, most media organizations in the world apart from those who encourage climate skepticism and trt world is certainly not one of them where do we go from here? We speak to experts like you all the time, and yet the reaction of nation states, of corporations, there's so much virtual, virtue signaling, but no action. When is that action going to come? You, you're absolutely right, indeed. Um, and also, if you go back to the report as well, what it shows us is that, you know, those who are going to be impacted are particularly those living in vulnerable and uh, uh, developing countries in the tropical areas, which are home to millions of people who live under poverty. And therefore, the action is needed now. And what I'm trying to say here is that uh, there are three things that need to be done here, particularly rich countries who have historically been responsible for most of the emissions. They need to cut emission cut emissions immediately to by significant level but also there's an awful lot of uh, pledges and promises that have been made in terms of financial assistance to those developing countries to be able to cope with climate change that needs to be delivered but equally important also is transfer of uh, relevant technology as well that helps communities to cope with the impacts of climate change so action now to uh, act on climate the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says the climate crisis is going to destroy human rights because they're going to be the rich who are going to be able to protect themselves from the worst effects of the climate crisis and there are going to be those who can't afford to do that and they will lose their human rights. I know that's not your area of expertise but I think it's just worth mentioning what the climate crisis can do to human rights. But your area of expertise I believe is also the world's oceans. With the climate crisis, what is it going to do to the food that we eat from those oceans? Yes, so again, what we've learned again is that the uh, the, the, the fish stocks, or f which are a source of food for millions of people in the world, are declining. And again, the rich countries may be able, rich individuals may be able to insulate themselves by going to alternative food sources. But there are millions of people, uh, particularly the small-scale fishers, who rely on on uh, the, these resources for their livelihood in terms of food and employment, etc. And therefore, they are the ones who are going to be hit hard. In our action now, we need to target those individuals to enable them to cope with those changes uh, or those impacts of climate change. Yes, I mean, just 30 seconds, if you don't mind, because we're going to run out of time. How are we doing in terms of the target of keeping temperatures from not rising by more than 1.5 degrees Celsius by the end of the century? Unless we do act now and we do cut our emission level by a significant level, we are very likely or in its trajectory to go beyond that now. Essam, thank you so much. Essam Yassin Mohammed speaking to us from London about how the climate crisis is going to change the world as we know it, unless we act immediately.